We are in Chikmangluru today. Another weekend, Saturday morning, 10.20. We reach Chikmangluru. We are on the way to Mulayanagiri. This is Naveen. Welcome back to another episode of Tindan Travel. Which is boring, but nice. Why boring? Where is Anda? We started from our apartment around 5 a.m. Another weekend, Saturday. Morning, 5 o'clock, we started from our apartment, Bangalore. Now we passed 45 kilometers, time is 6 a.m. Due to night curfew in Bangalore, we could start only at 5 o'clock. Looks like we will reach around 10 o'clock. So first we are planning to go to Mulayanagiri. It was showing 275 kilometers from our place. While starting it was showing 5 hours journey. We are in Bangalore Highway. We have packed our breakfast. On the way we stop somewhere and have. As it is Covid second wave, we have taken all the precautions. Masks, sanitizers. We will avoid the crowd. Let's go and see whether Mulayanagiri is open. We are not sure whether it is open today due to the COVID. We don't have much itineraries today. The plan is to go to Mulayanagiri Peak. From there, few waterfalls and one lake, that's all. And few other places, the Thai permits. Show the road, shall we? Traveled 190 kilometers so far. Time is 7:35. We packed our breakfast. We will stop somewhere and have our breakfast. Then continue our journey. This is Asan. From here we are taking diversion. Another 81 kilometers from here to Mulayanagiri. So we covered. 191 kilometers so far. We stopped here for our breakfast. Nanda? Nanda? What up? You have breakfast? Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We'll continue after our breakfast. It is breakfast break. <laughs> We are having breakfast. It is eight past five. The area and climate is awesome. <coughs> we done with our breakfast. So, very nice place. How is breakfast, Sandra? Little boring, but nice. Why boring? Not at home. We are not sitting. We both will get flown by three feet. Both oh, next time we'll plan. And okay. the car is small, right? You can carry everything in this car. Okay. Very beautiful place. Mm 
Bulenagiri is very nearby. Won't take much time to reach Bulenagiri. We'll start now. How was his sleep? I had this weird dream, but I forgot. Mm. Is it? Mm. So you want to sing a song now? No. No more. No more. So we are starting from here. We stopped here for filling diesel. Today's diesel rate is 85 rupees 34 paise. Nanda, hmm. you know where are we going? Molaya Nagiri. Molaya Nagiri. How many kilometers? 31. We are about to reach Chikmangluru. Chikmangluru is also known as the land of coffee in India. It is a hill station located in southwest Karnataka. The famous Cafe Coffee Day which is India's largest coffee chain started over here. Chikmagaluru literally means the town of the younger daughter in the Kannada language. From here, we are directly going to Mulayanagiri. It is located 22 kilometers from Chikmagaluru town. After driving few kilometers, we reached the forest check post. Sir, just the guardian logi there. We passed the forest check post. There we need to pay 20 rupees. So it looks like less crowd today. That is what the forest person told us. From here it is 14 kilometers. The road is very heavy road. We should be very careful while driving this road. This is really beautiful location. You can enjoy the amazing scenery on both sides of the road leading to Mulayanagiri. Very pleasant atmosphere now. Another six kilometers to drive. Road is very narrow and curvy, so should be very careful. Some places we don't have enough space for passing two vehicles. The drive up the hill can be a bit challenging as the road is too narrow in many places and negotiating two-way traffic is not for greenhorn drivers. Drivers with no guard driving experience shall be ultra careful. On the way, we stopped so many places to enjoy the beauty 
and capturing few good visuals. Mulayanagiri is the highest peak in Karnataka. It is located in the Chandradrona hill ranges of the Western Ghats in Chikmangaluru with a height of 1930 meters above sea level. You can find a different type of rocks in this mountain range which is rich in iron, magnetite and granite deposits. After 3-4 pit stops, we finally reached the parking area of Mulayanagiri. We started climbing up the hill. We started trekking Mulayanagiri. Nandi is already tired. Nandi, are you tired? Yes! 
We started trekking Mulanagiri. It is around 450 steps. <laughs> Where is on the? Yes. Yeah, we can't see. It is around 450 steps to climb, but still very tiring. Last time it was easy, but this time, but this time we, all put on we are almost there. We are trekking the highest peak in Karnataka, Mulenagiri Peak. There is a small temple on the top hills, so we need to visit that temple as well. Last time when we visited. We were not aware of that temple, so this time we need to visit that temple as well. So, continue. Another few more steps to reach the top hills. Wow! It's a very dangerous place. This peak gets its name from a small temple on top hills, which is dedicated to a sage Mullappa Swami. According to the regional mythology, sage Mullappa Swami observed meditation for years at a small cave on the top hills. We are planning to visit the cave as well. Once you reach on the top, before entering to the temple, on the right side you can see a small Nandi statue. Above sea level. So we reached on the top of Bolivagiri Peak. Sir, Lily, Devastan, Lily. Sir, Lily, Devastan, Lily. Go here, Lily. Oh, how can I go? Oh, this is the first time. Oh, this is the first time. Oh, this is the first time. Oh, this is the first Ah, Mullapa Swami. Mullapa Swami. Aha.
This is the temple on the top hill of Mulayanagiri Peak. This temple is dedicated to Mullappa Swami. It is believed that Mullappa Swami, a sage, meditated here for long years. Hence the name came to this peak as Mulayanagiri Peak. Now we are going to the cave where Mullappa Swami meditated for years. There is a passage from the right side of Nandi statue which leads to this cave. It is said that sage Mullappa Swami meditated here. What? Nothing, just... Wow, Shinni! Fantastic rock structure we can see inside. Very nice, colorful. This is the rock structure you can see inside the cave. Oh, again? See? Yeah. Want to come? Wow. Oh, again, it's going somewhere. No, no, no. Oh, this is really a wonder. I can't explain. Not sure whether you can see the beauty in this video, but it is really awesome. This is inside cave. Rock is really good. I don't know where it is leading to. Oh, again it's leading to somewhere. Not sure exactly it is leading to. Hmm. I'm stopping from here. Going back. You should be very careful.
इट्स वेरी स्केर इन सेट इट्स अ लॉन्ग वे नो वाटर वेरी स्केर इन सेट I took a U-turn. Sufficient oxygen is there, it seems, but a little bit scared. And I'm back. <laughs> Shami, I think this is, this is the exit, oh. and the that top one is the entrance. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But I don't want to go inside again. Very scary inside, you know. Position of the rock, each area is different. Right inside, we have seen a different structure, but here rock is another structure. Here it is; it is a different structure than the other one we have seen. Yeah, no, no. see. Whoa. See, almost I reached here. <coughs> This is another passage. Two passages inside. This is really a wonder. See the rocks, the design and the structure. Very amazing one. tired but very amazing cave it is really nice very much tired i'm in a cave on the top of mulayanagiri peak chikmagalur this is an amazing place wow this is an amazing place I'm going out. Let me. Let me. climate is extremely awesome less crowd after our bolenagiri trekking we are now going to a waterfall nearby
this is the end of this episode thank you for watching have a wonderful day